The Judgment Day is getting new members in the near future, so we'll see what's being said there. We'll also check out the rumors for Damage Control's Big Twist, Alexa Bliss, and more. Let's start things off with the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day got off to a bumpy start in 2022 after their leader, Edge, was quickly dismissed from the faction. Fans thought that the faction days were numbered without Edge leading them. Things did get very bumpy there for them. On top of Edge leaving, Rhea Ripley also got hurt and had to miss some time, so her absence was also strongly felt for the Judgment Day. There was also a while there where the group was just being represented by Finn Balor and Damian Priest. But in the months that followed that, everything started to come back together. Rhea Ripley was cleared to compete and momentum under the group quickly started to rise again. The Judgment Day welcomed their fourth member back in fall 2022 with Dominic Mysterio. Dominic had grown tired of being in his father's shadow and especially with how Rey was favoring Edge's word over Dominic's, really made him even more furious. So Dominic Mysterio attacked his father and would show up with the Judgment Day a few nights after that. Now, even Dominic's Judgment Day run started off a bit bumpy as well. But once he got comfortable and really found himself, especially with his Prison Dawn persona, Dominic just took off with momentum as well. So the Judgment Day really turned out to be a great success for all the members involved. The only real complaint some fans were talking about is how the Edge and Finn Balor feud seems like it's never ending. They've been feuding for soon to be going on a year now, and there's always another rematch between the two of them no matter what. But all signs seem to be indicating that their WrestleMania 39 match will be the final chapter of this feud especially with the rumors of Edge's retirement taking place this August. Fans will really like to see Edge take on a few new opponents before he hangs it up for good. But Finn Balor was recently a guest on WWE's The Bump, and he confirmed that the Judgment Day will be expanding with new members. He had this to say about that topic, quote, We're always plotting, we're always scheming, I'm always texting with Damien, we have a group chat with me, Damian, Rhea, Dom. We're plotting, we're figuring things out, and trust me, once we get Mania behind us, the Judgment Day will be expanding." End quote. So Finn's comments make a lot of sense. The Judgment Day will have their hands full for WrestleMania. You have Rhea Ripley going up against Charlotte Flair for the WWE SmackDown Women's title in what could possibly be the main event for night one of WrestleMania 39. Dominic Mysterio could finally be having his long-awaited singles match with his father, Rey Mysterio, at WrestleMania. And Finn Balor will, of course, be taking on Edge in the finale of their feud at WrestleMania. So the Judgment Day is extremely busy handling a lot of business right now. But like Finn Balor said, once WrestleMania season is over and dealt with, it looks like a new member will be joining the Judgment Day. So the new member could really be anyone. It could either be a woman added to the group or maybe another man. Maybe it's a current main roster superstar, or maybe someone gets called up from NXT to join the Judgment Day. Like we always mention, just look at the success of Solo Sokoa. He got called up from NXT right into a main roster faction, the biggest faction in WWE, and turned out to be a huge success. So maybe something like that. Maybe the Judgment Day could use an enforcer. That's going to be an interesting situation to keep an eye on, but Finn Balor says that the expansion will happen for the Judgment Day following WrestleMania. Another thing that fans are keeping a close eye on over on Raw is Bayley's Damage Control faction. Despite losing the women's tag team titles for the second time, Damage Control still appears to be united and will be going forward as a group. All the Damage Control members took to social media following their title loss and shared a similar message about how this isn't the end. The interesting part is some of the rumors and discussions that are still going around. There's a rumor floating around that there will be a big game-changing twist in the coming weeks between Trish Stratus, Lita, Becky Lynch, and Damage Control. Just some big twist that no one will see coming. So, as soon as that rumor started to go around, 
Fans have been hard at work thinking about what the twist could be. One possible route is for Dakota Kai and Eosky to turn on Bailey. This is an idea we lightly discussed in the past, but maybe their argument could be that they just lost faith in Bailey as a leader. Sure, they had two tag team title reigns under Bailey's leadership, but they also lost those titles twice under her leadership. So maybe they get to the point where they're just fed up and not going to let Bailey steer the ship anymore. Another idea fans have thrown around was the idea of Trish Stratus turning heel somewhere along the story. Talk about unexpected. Trish Stratus turning her back on Lita and Becky Lynch at any point of the story will be a complete shock. There was even an interview from a while back where Trish Stratus did mention an idea she had for a heel turn that she really liked. So, could that be something that comes into play here? Could Trish Stratus finally get that heel turning story that she wanted for a long time? That's definitely a possibility. So, not much is really known about this rumor, but apparently something unexpected could be happening here sometime soon. So, keep an eye out for that storyline feud. Alexa Bliss has been nowhere to be seen on WWE programming ever since January 28th at the Royal Rumble. For nearly three months, it looked like WWE was building up some sort of reunion between Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss. But as the months went on, the payoff for the reunion teasers never came. The only payoff that we actually got was Alexa Bliss disappearing on another hiatus after the Royal Rumble. There's been a few lengthy creative related hiatuses for Alexa Bliss in recent years, and they're always unfortunate because it really just flatlines the buzz and build up to the story. But there's finally an update and new rumors for Alexa Bliss's return to WWE. Reports claim that Alexa Bliss will return to WWE television shortly after WrestleMania and will instantly be reunited with Bray Wyatt upon her return. So, if that turns out to be true, it looks like the reunion payoff will finally happen the second Alexa Bliss is back. Lots of fans expect Alexa Bliss to return in a very explosive and major way as well. Maybe it'll be by helping Bray Wyatt win a big match or getting involved with any other big moment there between Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy. It'll be also very interesting to see how Bray Wyatt's story and direction shifts again if Alexa Bliss truly is coming into the fold. That'll mean that Bray Wyatt is slowly getting a family back together. It'll now be Bray Wyatt, Uncle Howdy, and Alexa Bliss. So he's definitely forming another potential faction. Of course, when Bray Wyatt first returned, the big fan theory was the Wyatt Six fan theory. The idea of Bray Wyatt leading a six-person faction. Well, if the Alexa Bliss rumors are true, Bray Wyatt will technically be halfway there with having three members now. So, we'll have to see what ends up happening there for Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.